Tom story. We now know the ID of the teenager who caused outrage in East Texas a while back. Eight months ago, a horrible case of animal cruelty reported in Cherokee County. The woman reportedly shot her dog 10 times, videoing that on Snapchat. She's now been arrested. Kate Case Carol Rucker right now joining us live from Jacksonville with reaction from the community there. Once outraged and now maybe relieved. Kara. Well, that's right, Neil. The girl who is currently accused of this crime is sitting behind bars here tonight, charged with animal cruelty. Now, this case got a lot of attention both locally and nationally, something that you'll probably end up remembering. Now, before we get into this story, I do want to warn you that it does have graphic content, so it may be hard to watch. We'll go ahead and take you to that video now. So this is the video that was posted by Kimberly Diaz on her personal Snapchat account. The caption reading 10 shots and still not dead and showing her dog lying in the grass in pain. A horrific video posted on social media. Madison Zavala saw the video and immediately took action, asking Diaz directly who shot him. Her replying, well, me, duh. Even with her admitting to shooting this dog, it took eight months for law enforcement to put her behind bars, something that one and the same is upsetting and a relief. Um, I would say whenever a town and community or even state is taking action, I feel like the law enforcement should too. And a lot of us are very happy that she's locked up because it was an extremely long wait or so it felt like. This is Kimberly Diaz booked for animal cruelty on December 24th. Zavala wants this to be a lesson for others. First, that it's never okay to abuse an animal, especially to this extent, and that if it does happen again, justice be brought to that person, and hopefully next time they won't walk freely for eight months. Now, Neil, we are still waiting to hear back from the district attorney's office just to get some more specifics on this case because questions like why did it take so long are still unanswered tonight. I'm reporting live at the Cherokee County Jail, Kara Rucker, KETK News.